Well, this has been an interesting project. I think what I'm going to do is actually shut the porch bill down for now and start working on the sawn. In fact, I know that's what I'm going to do. It is, what, August 29th, I think, today? Uh, anyway, the end of August, almost the end of August, almost September, which means winter's approaching. I'm thinking or expecting or preparing for mid-October again, like last year, for snow to start falling and to maybe stay temperatures to drop down so I need to get that sauna which I keep calling it a sauna but it's actually a bathhouse it's it's going to be our shower facilities for the winter so it's more important than just having a sauna to relax in it's a sauna to clean it in get clean um, so I need to get that done before winter comes and freezes and doesn't allow me to fill the gaps in between the logs for one thing so I'm going to jump on that now this afternoon and then uh, I just finished cleaning up on the porch here I'm going to stockpile my materials and probably continue off camera to mill those logs or cut those logs in half to use as siding for the rest of the porch. And also, like I said, I'm, as I slab those, the bigger logs, I'm keeping the center portions of those, like the, the uh, 4x4, 6x6, and hopefully 8x8s for the timber frame workshop that I'm going to be starting which probably was going to end up being this winter or early in the spring. I think over the winter what I'll probably do is work on uh, making the, all the joints, like forming all the uh, joints to put all the timbers together and then erect it in the spring sometime. So like I said, I'm going to jump on that sauna now this afternoon, continue to work on that for the next week or two, whatever it takes me to finish that 100% completely, including the path going up to it and the um, stairs, the shower head, uh, water storage, sink, um, shelves, and firewood supply. So everything in there to start utilizing that. The reason being that winter's coming and that means I can't um, continue to bathe in the lake or in the stream or the or the ponds around here. Or uh, sponge bathing even outside with rainwater, which I actually probably do more often than I go for a swim. So that's the plan. I'm going to shut this video down now. I'm going to jump on the sauna and then come back to the porch as soon as I've done the sauna. Or I may even just stockpile, mater stockpile materials inside the porch here, get onto the root cellar that I need for a, a food storage, at least a small one, for the winter as well. And then um, all the other stuff normal for a fall, preparing for winter. So if that happens, what I'll do is I'll work on the porch over the winter, which at least it's sheltered and I can do a lot of it inside or in the overhangs on the outside. Plus it's elevated above the snow for the most part, at least uh, for the first part of the season. So I think the plan is coming together for this fall. I think I'm a lot more prepared for winter than I was last year. And I'm looking forward to maybe getting out and doing a little bit more exploring of the area this year that I keep promising to do or keep promising myself to do. I like the ice, ice fishing and I need an ice hut on one of the lakes here. A whole bunch of stuff to do like that. So I have, have plenty to do, plenty to occupy my time. And I'm um, happy at least that I've got this shelter built and it's waterproof, watertight, so that I can work under it or just even sit under here on a nice day. So, yeah, a sauna, a window first, uh, fill in some of the gaps. We've got some big gaps I need to fill with wood. I need to collect all the moss from down in the valley here to, to, put, um, to fill in the gaps and to insulate the roof. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you are going to continue to follow along. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and uh, just keep tuning into the channel either way to see what's going on this fall all the busy little projects i'm going to be working on and um, yeah appreciate everybody following along and watching i really enjoy reading your comments and and just watching uh yeah, just hearing your stories about self-reliance as well so thanks again and i will see you up at the cabin next time take care mm -hmm.